Hello teachers, today I'm going to show you how you can send progress reports to guardians and students in Google Classroom. So first open up your Google Classroom page and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the people tab up at the top, it's the third option. Go ahead and click on that and this is where you'll see all of your students and all of your guardians if you've invited them. So now what you can actually do is click on any one student that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on myself as a student. And now notice all of their work that they've done in the Google Classroom page shows up in this one little hub. It'll show you what's been turned in but not yet graded. It'll show you what has been graded and if they turned it in or not. So you can see here that this student did not turn in three of these assignments, but yet they were graded. It's not marked as missing because I graded it, but it does clarify and say that they never even turned it in, which is why they got a zero. Now you can also see if they're missing something. Now missing means that you didn't go in and grade it yet and return it to them and you just left it as missing. Some teachers do that and they just end up putting zeros into their grade book for anything that's missing. So you can do that as well. But it gives you a nice little snapshot. Over to the left, you have options to filter. Now, if I clicked on turned in, it will show me every assignment that's been turned in that I haven't yet graded. So it's a nice little to-do list there. You could also click on the filter for returned with grade. These are all the things that you've graded and returned to the student or you can click on the last filter which is missing and this will show you any missing work that the student has. So I'm gonna go on back to this hub and now when you're at this central hub and you see all of these assignments in the upper right hand corner there's a little button that says email student or guardians so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this little menu. Now it tells you what the subject is going to be you can type in a short little message right here and then you can go ahead and hit the box here, this checkbox, Include Student Work Summary. So what this means is an email is going to be sent to this specific student that shows all of their work that they've done in the Google Classroom page. It essentially will show them a nice little view of this page here. Now if you have guardians invited for this student and they've accepted, you have the option of this little triangle to the right of student in the to section of this email. And if you click on that, it gives you options to email to the student, just to the guardians, or to the student and guardians. And so if I go ahead and I click student and guardians, it's going to send an email to the student and it's going to send a separate email to the guardians and you can write in whatever message click that box and it's going to give them a work summary. Now here is what that work summary actually looks like. It's embedded into an email with the message right over here. So here's your progress. That's the message I wrote for the student myself. It tells you what class it's for and the date that it was created and it gives you a nice little snapshot of all of the work that they've done in the class. 